Hey guys, Matt here with Juice Joy Rides, and today we're gonna go for the very first ride on my Solar Eclipse. It's a brand new electric dirt bike, and here's kind of what it looks like next to my 72 volt modified Saran. It's got a little bit longer wheelbase. This is a 72 volt bike out of the box. Pretty massive 45 amp hour battery. Comes stock with a huge 90 tooth rear sprocket. Interesting chain on this bike. And one of the most unique things about this bike is it is a full carbon frame. Oh no. You wouldn't tell me if I did that by the way. Dang it. <laughs> Which puts the weight of this bike at 138 pounds. When I first saw this bike, I just thought it looked sick. The wheelbase is a little bit longer, which will provide us a little more stability at speed and for wheelies. Also check out how long this seat is. So let's hop on this thing and check out this display and push to start. Peel this screen off here and look at this dashboard. It's in park right now, so let's put it in eco and get on out of here. We are on a full charge, 83.5 volts on this thing. So we're gonna start the Strava and see what kind of range we get on our first ride. And of course this thing's gonna have monster torque, but while we're down here in the dark, I just wanna show you this front headlight. It does have high beams and low beams and the brakes on this thing are legit motorcycle brakes. And there is a tail light as well as turn signals. Check it out, there's the front turn signal and the rear turn signal and it has a legit motorcycle horn. It's very loud. Actually, let's go ahead and bump it onto sport mode and just give it a little throttle for this 20% grade. Oh yeah, this thing has massive, massive torque. Not even pulling the throttle all the way, obviously. Can you guys hear the noise of the chain? It makes a little bit of a unique noise. This thing is awesome, man. So right away when the dudes at Solar Scooters dropped this bike off to me, the first thing that I was thinking is, this is kind of like a competitor maybe to the brand new Ultra B from Saran. However, this bike is lighter than the Ultra B. Literal first moment on the bike. This thing is sick. And it's 72 volts. Out of the box. So when it comes to the Ultra B, I know one of the big complaints about that bike stock is the power to weight ratio just isn't quite the same as like an upgraded Saran. So looking at this dash, this display is awesome. It shows you like the motor temperature, it shows the rotating speed, the RPMs of the motor, and of course our miles per hour, which we'll check that on my GPS here in a few. And we're gonna get out for a long ride today, but while we're here in a safe area, Let's go ahead and just give this thing a little bit of an acceleration and see how it can do. So we are in sport mode. Uh, let me just give it some juice a little bit. Oh yeah. 50, 55. And I feel the motor limiting me now. It looks like stock is bringing me up to 55. And the first thing I'm really noticing, going 55 on this versus my Suron Lightbe, this thing feels insanely more stable. Like cruising at 55. Oh, it's got good torque right now too. So pulling up the spec sheet on this bike, it is a 300 amp sine wave controller and it claims to have a 60 mile an hour top speed in sport mode. And the motor power is listed as 2,500 watts with peak power output of 6,000 watts. So the question everybody probably wants to know is, can it wheelie? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm prepared to even try that quite yet. Suspension feels pretty good on this thing though. I'd say this feels better than the Saran suspension. It is KKE suspension, front and rear, and it handles nice. <laughs> you can definitely feel that it has a little bit more mass to it than the Saran Light B, but it doesn't feel like lethargic at all. All right, a little bit of juice here. Let's see if we can pop the front end up. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> nice, dude. So this thing has like, a way longer wheelbase than the light B and I think that's gonna help me do wheelies in the long term. I don't know if I'm gonna be like riding wheelies today, but we'll see. It's like a power wheelie. I'm not like popping it good enough. All right, cruising in 13. I just love this display on here. Just pop it. Not quite yet, guys. Let's go ahead and try the eco mode. I think this limits you to 28 and yeah, you can tell that it gives you like Quite a bit less power. So 27, 28, 30. Quick little reminder, I do weigh 200 pounds on eco mode. Let's give it full throttle. Okay, so it's not like crazy. It'll let you have like a gentle mode here. And it's just wide open, bringing me up to 
decent speed, relatively slow. But then bumping on to sport and full throttle. Oh, oh yeah, better not. Full throttle now, lean forward a bit. All right, full throttle. I better let off. <laughs> oh, <shit>. sorry. <laughs> I, I pressed the horn by accident there. Uh, so in his stock configuration, the way it delivers the power, I would say you could probably get some insane range out of this thing, considering 72 volt, 45 amp bar. Forget what that comes out to. It's like over 3,000 watt hours of energy. And the way it's putting that power down, you get good acceleration. Now, compared to my modified 72 volt light B, this thing's a little bit more tame, stock out of the box. Yeah, I don't like power wheelie, but it, the front end doesn't really come up on you like crazy. Dude, I think I just realized, I think that there might be regen brake on this with the, with the levers. It sounds like there's regen to me. So this remote has like a lock, unlock, like an alarm. I'll show you more about that later. Let's try it on a little bit of off-road stuff here. This thing feels at home on dirt. The suspension on this thing is like way better than the stock they're on from all that I can remember. Like riding over that just felt like I was riding on just like the street, honestly. Speaking of the street, let's get it on the street. Now this thing does have like turn signals and it seems like you'd be able to get this thing plated pretty easily compared to a Saron Light B. Hey, I might have to try these turn signals out. I'm not used to this. I feel like this bike is quite a bit uh, less loud than my, my Saron. Like the chain on this one is like way quieter. I did notice like the chain on this bike is I don't know what the, how wide it is and stuff, but like the chain is, the, the links are like not the same. It looks like a smaller chain. I don't know if it's weaker, but like it, it looks like it's not like as beefy. So the grips are kind of interesting. Like I, I like them. They're not like rubbery though. It, and they're not like plastic either. It's kind of, they feel like a, a some sort of like something in between like a rubber and a plastic feel. This thing feels like, just so much more like motorcycle, like it's got a, it's got a nice mid range. So the thing about this bike with like all these turn signals and you know, the headlight, I just, you know, I don't know if I should be riding this like where bicycles go. I want to take it to the beach. I feel like this is a little motorcycle like to be riding on the bike path by the beach. So over in this area, a lot of times like the wind is just like blowing me around so much on my light V. Like it's really windy right there all the time. And one of the downfalls of the light V, when you go really fast, like above 50 on that bike, it just feels like you're literally riding a bicycle 50 miles an hour and one gust of wind will just blow you away. That's not how this bike feels when you're cruising at higher speeds. It feels planted and stable like a motorcycle. All right, well, here we are going on the bike path. This thing is freaking sick, dude. Let's see if we get uh, any different looks than, than uh, usual. Pedestrian crossing. We'll row with the uh, moped. Normally on my light i I'd be going over in the bike lane. You know, this just feels so much more motorcycle-like. Dude, if it wasn't for like all like the lights and turn signals and fenders and stuff, I'd probably be a little more cool with just like cruising out here. With these Super 73s ahead of me, maybe I'll just kind of blend in as a Super 73. I'll just pretend like I'm a Super 73. I'll, I'll slap a Super 73 sticker on the side of this and yeah, it will be a Super 73. I don't know if I'm comfortable enough on this bike to try and like riding it like upstairs or if, even, if it even has the clearance, honestly. I don't want to smash my motor on the very first day. There's not like a bash guard on there, I don't think. It looks like it'll work. Oh, whoop. Please don't bash, please don't bash. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't know if this is gonna work or not. Oh yeah. No problem though, I mean, it has all the torque. So we are going on eight miles right now and 86% charge. Oh no, the police is right there. We'll see if they say something. This dude's jamming, he's always out here jamming. Let's take it over to the skate park, why not? We could get real crazy, take it out there. What an absolutely beautiful day out here in West LA. Still a little off-roading on this thing. Dude, this feels just way better than my light be riding off-road. Oh dude, I don't feel bad at all riding this thing out here now. Dude has like a straight up 
car out here. As long as it's electric, it flies, right? Here's what the solar eclipse looks like compared to like a BMW, you know, basically full-size motorcycle with some F850s. I mean, the light bee looks like a toy compared to something like that. This one's got a little more size to it. Oh, whoa. Oh. Once you put the kickstand down, it'll put it uh, in park for you automatically. Okay. Nice little like safety feature. And here's what it looks like next to a Ducati Scrambler, for example. Kind of almost like comparable in like length, I would say. This is called the Solar Eclipse. Have you heard of the Saran? I have, my boy wants one. How is it so far? It's cool, man. It goes like 60 is what they say. It feels safe, 55? It feels, oh, this feels like way more planted and like stable at speed. So one thing that I like about this bike is it does show you the voltage of the battery as well as a percentage. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a little uh, video on it. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about 10, 10 miles in and I'm at 83 percent. Okay. So uh, enjoy. All right, yeah, you too. The beauty of this bike is you hop right off the beach, right on onto the highway. And now that I can see that it does have the amps there for draw, like if I press the brakes, I can see it says negative seven amps. So it does indeed have regen brake that is activated from pulling the levers, which is freaking awesome because that's going to save so much on the brake pads and also add a little bit of charge back to the battery. So the fork does have adjustments and it does make meaningful differences. The rear shock also has adjustments, obviously. I have not messed with those at all yet. One thing I'm noticing about this bike compared to my Light V, I really like how my legs can like grip around uh, this, this section right here. Like it's actually like comfortable piece to kind of grab onto compared to my Light V. Here we come. Two minor complaints I have. Uh, right now, the angle of the sun is like reflecting this screen like directly back in my face because of the angle of the sun. I mean, what are you going to do about that? And the other thing, the stock foot pegs, they're just like these skinny, skinny stock foot pegs just like i had on my Suron light b they're honestly like not bothering me really but i just know like once i upgraded my stock pegs on my light b it was so much better like just like a bigger platform for your foot to sit on is more comfortable and the thing that i actually like about these grips is they're like thicker than my light b ones like the light b the handlebars are pretty narrow diameter i have big hands i'm six foot five but these ones, they're just like a, a thicker grip that I kind of like better. Riding position on this thing is actually totally cool. I don't think it even needs risers put on it. It already kind of has like some sort of risers on it. And if you guys watch my videos on my light you know I have like the extension kits, like the seat riser and the pegs are dropped down. At 6.5, this bike actually feels like it fits me way better than the light -bee. All right, here we are to the off-roading portion. I am freaking stoked. So I'm going to do a little like full throttle here now. Does this thing have like traction control or something? Maybe those knobby tires just grip really well. Do not enter without an Escort. Dude, I am not buying a freaking Escort. My girlfriend will kill me. So far, it seems like nobody really cares at all. Oh, doggy. It's so funny. Yeah, nobody, nobody cares at all. So I don't know, can you guys hear that squeaky noise? I'll hit a bump or two. Yeah, a little squeaky squeak. Let me show you, let me show you. There's one thing about this bike that's absolutely ridiculous. It's the easiest fix ever, but look at the freaking kickstand on this bike. The kickstand that came on this bike is like, like the cheapest kickstand of all time. Like everything about this bike looks like sick and it seems like all like really high quality. And then there's like this like little like five cent kickstand on here. It's like, it's kind of, it's just kind of comical, honestly. So I think the kickstand, should probably be changed. Oh, one thing about this bike, if you listen carefully, can you hear there's a fan down there? It sounds like a computer or something running with the, the fan. On with the ride. Wheelbase is making this turn a little bit tighter than my light be. No, 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 don't fall down there. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah. Wow. This thing has like a super solid like mid-range. The power delivery, is oh yeah okay <laughs> this thing is uh quite a bit of fun put down oh my goodness this person is running up the hill it definitely feels like punchy in the mid-range it doesn't quite like launch and it's not like su like super thrilling like my 72 volt 12,000 watt Ceron is Neuro. 
Oh, back tire's starting to break traction a little bit. And this is where I can really tell the suspension is way better than my light B. Cause right there it's usually like washboard and like awful. We're going up a really steep hill now. 35 on the dash. Oh yeah, I feel super solid going into these corners. Like it just feels like way more planted. Like I always feel like my light bee is about to slide out on me going around these corners. This one, I, I already feel like way more confidence going around these corners. Oh, back tire slid just a little bit there. Whew. Battery is down to 60% now, 73.5 volts and ADC. Man, this spike, I'm loving it, dude. A little bit of water. It is somewhat waterproof. I forget the IPX rating. Getting up way up here on the front of the tank, I wonder if it'll like do a burnout. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, a scrape or something there. I don't know if the front end, like the plastic hit or, I don't know. I'm not really sure what exactly happened there. All right, so the next stretch here should be pretty epic. This thing is planted, man. No pedals on this thing at all. No pedals on this one. How long have you had it for? One day. You just got, you've ridden from Playa Vista yep. up here. Yeah. You came up. You came up uh, this is the time when I can appreciate a wider peg, a foot peg. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that front. Something's scraping there when the uh, suspension goes way down in the front. I wish I had a little more power to like pop wheelies, like power wheelie coming off of like stuff like that. Solid bike, man. I feel very in control of this thing. Whew. Thanks, still got juice. Let's see what kind of acceleration this thing has left at the end of the tank. 34%. Wide open. Bro, add me to your truck. I need a charge. All right, guys, with 28% on the battery, let's just do another top speed run and see where, how it matches up the GPS. Wide open. I can feel it cuts me off right here. All right guys, just making it home. We did 42 miles today, three hours and six minutes of riding time. Have 29% on the battery, 71.2 volts. If I had one word to describe this thing, it's awesome. There's a little bit of room for improvement. Uh, I wish it had wider pegs. I wish the kickstand didn't make the noise. It wasn't so flimsy. I wish I had a little bit more pep, but you know, I'm coming from a modified 72 volt, 12,000 watt, Saron is a smaller frame, shorter wheelbase. My modded Saron is an absolute animal. This thing feels pretty powerful and fun. Flip it into sport mode if you want. Oh yeah, oh that truly makes a diff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit, oh my God. You know, it maxes out at 6,000 watts stock, but I do feel like there's some pretty simple mods that could be done to this thing to juice it up just a little bit more. That's my first impressions of the Solar Eclipse. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment. Catch you next time.